existing we do only for total number of equities it is in rupees that's why we are dividing if it is in numbers we have to multiply if you want to find out total number of equities you have to go for the 10 lakh in the form of 11 percent preferences Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Rate College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session 4 of your topic called Financial Management and we are discussing Capital Structure. What we'll do in today's session, we'll go for the next slide. So we will understand meaning, concept as well as we'll do problems. Now your problems are very simple like Wipro Limited. Wipro Limited contemplates to invest rupees 20 lakh on a project for the expansion. So, how much they want to invest 20 lakh? Your complete problem is based on 20 lakh. Now, on a project for the expansion, the present capital structure consists of 10 lakh in the form. This is the existing one. This is called existing. Existing we do only for total number of equities. If you want to find out total number of equities, you have to go for that. Now, equity divided into 100 rupees each. 10 lakh already you have of 100 rupees each. So we have three alternatives to get this 20 lakh. Our complete problem is based on 20 lakh. Now, first one, 10 lakh in the form of equities, remaining in the form of debenture. How much we needed? 20 lakh. Now, 10 lakh in the form of equity, 10 lakh in the form of debenture. Hope you are clear. Yes, then. Rupees 5 lakh in the form of equities, 5 lakh in the form of debenture. Like, 5 lakh in the form of equity, 5 lakh in the form of debenture and remaining preferences 5 plus 5, 10. What is the balance? 10. This will be your preference shares. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, this is done and the last one, last one will go. 10 lakh in the form of preferences and remaining 10 lakh in the form of debenture. 10 lakh in the preferences and remaining 10 lakh in the form of debenture. Hope you are clear with this. Clear? Yes. Now, so EBIT is rupees 7 lakh and the tax rate is 30 percent. What is the EBIT we have? 7 lakh. What is the tax rate we have? 30 percent. Hope you are clear? Yes. Now we'll go with the answer. Before that, we'll write down the options actually. Now, the first one. First one, option one. So in this, I'll write down. First one, option one, we have 10 lakh in the form of equity, remaining in the form of debenture. This is option one. Option two, option three. Option 1, option 2, and option 3. Hope you are clear. Now, I'll write out the calculation in this. 10 lakh in the form of equity, remaining in the form of debenture. Debenture what percent? 9 percent. 10 lakh in the form of equity, then 10 lakh in the form of 9 percent Dementia. Hope you are clear. Yes, second one. 5 lakh in the form of equity, 5 lakh in the form of debenture, 9%. 5 lakh in the form of equity, 5 lakh in the form of 9% debenture, and 10 lakh in the form of preference shares. What is the percentage? The percentage is 11%. Now, it is 11%. Last one, 10 lakh in the form of preferences, 11%. 10 lakh in the form of 11% preferences. And 
10 lakh at 9% debentures. 10 lakh at 9% debenture. Hope you are clear. 10 lakh equity, 10 lakh 9% debenture. 5 lakh equity, 5 lakh 9% debenture. 10 lakh, it is 11% preferences. Now, we done with this calculation. Now, option 1, option 2 and option 3. Now we'll go one by one. What is the first one? The first one is EBIT. First one is EBIT. Hope you are clear. Yes. What is your EBIT? Your EBIT is 7 lakh. See, they have given EBIT rupees 7 lakh. So, 7 lakh. 7 lakh and 7 lakh. 7 lakh, 7 lakh and 7 lakh is your EBIT. Hope you are clear. Yes. After that minus interest. Interest calculated for what? Only for debenture holders. Now, you have debentures. Yes. 10 lakh into 9%. 10 lakh into 9%. So I'll calculate, you will get 90,000. 10 lakh into 9%, I got 90,000. Similarly, we have 7 lakh. Debenture is over. Again, we have one more debenture. 5 lakh into 9%. 5 lakh into 9%, it is 45,000. 45,000. Next. And the last one, one more debenture, 10 lakh into 9%, it will be same. It will be 90,000. Now, I'll calculate this. 5 lakh into 9%. Hope you are done with interest portion. Now, from 7 lakh we are supposed to minus, from 7 lakh we are supposed to minus, from 7 lakh we are supposed to minus. 7 lakh minus 90,000, 6 lakh 10,000. This will be your 6 lakh 55. 7 lakh minus 45,000, I get 6 lakh 55. Then it will be 6 lakh 10. 6 lakh 10,000. Any doubt? No doubt. Now, up to this we have completed. Now, what is the next one? This is called EBT. Now, minus taxation. Taxation at what percentage? Taxation, it is given. It is 30% is taxation. Now, Taxation at 30%. Now, 6 lakh 10,000 into 30%, I got 1 lakh 83. 1 lakh 83,000. 6 lakh 55,000 into 30%, I got 1 lakh 96,500. 6 lakh 10,000 into 30, it is already calculated. 1,83,000. Now, so you get profit or income after tax. How much you will get? 6,10,000 minus 1,83. I got 4,27. 4,27,655 minus 196,500. I got 4,58,500. 458,500. Then 6,10,000 minus 1,83,000. I got 4,27,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. This will be 427, 458 and 427. 
this is what income after tax are income available to preference as well as equal shareholder now once if it is done we'll go to next step less dividend less dividend now dividend should be calculated on preference shares now we have preference shares no do we have preference shares yes 10 lakh into 11 percent 10 lakh into 11 percent and one more first option is nil last option we have 10 lakh into 11 percent same thing now as per this 10 lakh into 11 percent 10 lakh into 11 percent i got 1 lakh 10 thousand 1 lakh 10 thousand 1 lakh 10 thousand hope you are clear yes now so we have to minus this now if you go back you have 4 lakh 27 thousand minus so it will be remain same 4 lakh 27 thousand the previous one you have 4 lakh 58 500 4 lakh 58 500 minus we have 1 lakh 10 thousand it is 3 lakh 48 500 3 lakh 500 and the last one we have 4 lakh 27000 minus 1 lakh 10000 so we get 3 lakh 17000 3 lakh 17000 hope you are clear clear Yes, now 4 lakh 27, 3 lakh 48 500, and 3 lakh 17,000. Now, this will be earning available to equity share holder. Earning available to equity shareholder. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so this is earning available to equity shareholder 427, 348, and 3,17,000. Now, this what we are supposed to do. We have to find out earning per share. Earning per share is equal to same earning available to equity shareholder divided by number of equity shares now earning is 4 lakh 27 thousand 3 lakh 48 500 and 3 lakh 17 thousand i'll cross check once i'll cross check once now 7 lakh minus interest, it has become 6 lakh 10,000 minus your taxation 1 lakh 83. I got 427 and final answer 427. And the second one we have EB87 lakh, we have interest also and we have taxation, it is done. You got 4 lakh 58 minus dividend, you will get 3 lakh 48. Similarly, 7 lakh minus 90,000, 6 lakh 10, minus your taxation, you got 4 lakh 27, minus 1 lakh 10,000, it has become 3 lakh 17,000. Hope you are clear. Yes. In this also, we have 10 lakh preferences. This also, we have 10 lakh preferences. Now, number of equity shareholders we are supposed to find out. How to find out? Just mention that working note in this so we'll go for your calculation equity shareholder number of equity shareholder now in this we have existing and we have new existing and new now under existing what you have like 
you have share capital consists of 10 lakh of rupees 100 each then it will be 10 lakh 100 each it is in rupees that's why we are dividing if it is in numbers we have to multiply 10 lakh if you cancel two zeros it will become 10,000 10,000 option 1 option 2 option 3 10,000 and 10,000 hope you are clear yes new shares it will be how much in the first option 10 lakh equal shares means 10 lakh divided by 100 it will be 10,000 shares 10 lakh divided by 100 you will get 10,000 shares option 2 we have 5 lakh equity then 5 lakh divided by 100 you will get 5,000 equity in the third option we don't have equity only now what is the total the total is 20,000 the total is 15,000 the total is 10,000 one two three hope you are clear yes now we'll go for 20,000 here and we go for 15,000 and 10,000 15,000 and 10,000 so what will be your answer 4 lakh 27,000 divided by 20,000 I got 21.35 21.35 then 3 lakh 48 500 divided by 15,000 I got 23.23 23.23 and we have 3 lakh 17,000 divided by 10,000 I got 31.7 see 21.35 23.23 31.7 which is higher your option 3 is better option 3 has to be accepted why because earning per share is more compared to other options clear yes so i'll go out of the screen please take screenshot your problem the solution part 1 solution part 2 your working note yes this is all about your today's session hope you understood how to do your capital structure with adjustment like this you will get your problems in your examination all the best